Hi guys, so today I am going to be doing something a little different and I am going to be sharing a home decor haul. I'm really excited because I love everything that I picked up, so let me just show you what I got. So the first thing I got, gallery faux fur throw. Oh my gosh, you guys, it is so comfy. I just imagine my living room being full of a bunch of comfy blankets. <laughs> the color is just so gorgeous. This blue is making me all kinds of happy lately. Most all of these things I picked up from Home Goods. I'm so tempted to go back and get another one of these. I wish I had them in another shade of blue, but um, yeah, this is probably my favorite purchase. On to the next, I got these super yummy pillows. <laughs> so what I'm trying to go for is I don't want like a glam room, and I know this definitely looks like I'm going for glam, but I would like to have a mixture of different textures. So I don't know if this is gonna work out or not. It may not work out and I may have to use these elsewhere, but I'm hoping to get like some furry fluffy pillows um, joined with these and I don't know, just some different textures to just kind of give you that cozy, comfy feel. Like, But I love these pillows. So I got this two pack. Um, for $20 you guys and I thought that was a good deal so these are full of feathers and I happen to be allergic to feathers but um, I just won't use these for lounging I'll use these for decoration and let everybody else use them for lounging and um, I'll just add some more pillows to it that I can actually lay my head on so but how gorgeous are they then I picked up this beauty so I feel like this is another luxurious purchase <laughs> But, oh my gosh, this velvet, it felt so good. I am really hoping that I can make this work. I know you guys, this is looking really, you know, like fancy living room, but that's not what I'm going for. I'm going for cozy. So I'm hoping, again, to mix um, some textures and see what I can come up with, but I just couldn't pass this one up. Okay, I think this is better. I turned off the light a little bit, but this is a little bit more true to color. It's probably still a little bit lighter. Um, than what it looks like in real life. This pillow is 425 South Los Angeles is the brand, I am guessing. And I'm pretty sure I paid 15, 15 or $20 for it, which is why <laughs> it's really important for me to just shop a little bit at a time um, because that just felt like a whole lot <laughs> a few months ago. When you have one steady income, you just have to be smart about the way you purchase. And so in order for me to kind of move along and get things that are closer to what I would really like, I just have to take my time. So, hey, the last pillow that I got was this one in a, lif uh, a different shape. The other three pillows are square and this one is a rectangle obviously that same velvety feeling and it has this really pretty button silver button detail this is like the mixed metals that I was going for so far I have gold a rose gold and a silver so that is what I'm going for I'm really hoping that it works but again this is gonna be all about taking risk and maybe some things won't work and maybe some things will and I'll just move things around in my house and it's a journey, right? <laughs> now I'm sounding cheesy and corny and all those good things, but oh my gosh, you guys, can you, can you see this? Can you see this? <laughs> so, so we'll see how it works. The couch that I am looking to get is like a linen, a linen feel, so it doesn't have, it's not like a microfiber or um, a velvet or anything, it's like a linen, um, tougher look. Can you say tougher when it comes to decor? I don't even know. <laughs> but I'm hoping that the mix of those two will kind of like balance things out. So we shall see together as a family. <laughs> see how pretty they look together so far? And can you just imagine my sofa not being this yellowy color, but instead like a light gray color? I'm really, really hoping that it works. Okay, so next up I wanna show you the colors that I'm looking at for the wall. You guys, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> but I really wanted something more towards the darker end. I'm a little nervous about it because my living room is so small. But I'm hoping because it's opened 
to my dining room and because we probably will only paint maybe two or three of the walls that it'll work so i am thinking more towards one of these colors here i feel like this is way too dark even though this is the one that i really want these are the other ones that i have <laughs> see this darker one i'm like so in love with i feel like um, but I don't know. I really think I'm gonna go for that darker one. Newport Grey and the Dark Iris. So in the meantime, while I'm trying to decide on that, I will show you the frames that I got. First one that I got, remember I said I was trying to do the whole mixed metal thing? This one is like a rose gold. I just thought this was really, really pretty. It's a five by seven frame and I think I paid four or five dollars for it it's gorgeous isn't it then the next one i got was this one here it is showing up a little bit darker than it looks in real life but i like how it's like weathered and um brushed i feel like that's like the beginnings of making you know of mixing the textures and things so i really like this one and this one's just gonna go near that um metal one which sounds good right if i take that one and join it with this one it's like mixing and i like it <laughs> okay then the next thing i got was another one that was very similar to the smaller one that five by seven so this one is an 11 by 14 and i thought it was so pretty again it's starting it's starting to mix that whole texture thing so I've got the fancy texture here and the more rugged um, texture here that's what I'm going for you guys what do you think <laughs> so this one just says grateful and it's so pretty but again it's another one of those things where I'm trying to mix metals a bit so this is like a rose gold and a shadow box um, and I think I like the shape I want my home to be full of pictures and art and things so We'll just make our way towards that. I got this one from Hobby Lobby and it's gorgeous. Like, I'm not sure how the metal is gonna work because it's different than say the rose gold that I have. Um, if it doesn't work in the living room, then I'll put it somewhere else. But I could not pass this one up. It was originally $60 and I picked it up from Hobby Lobby for 10. You can't let that go. <laughs> so, um, it's this beautiful starburst shape and I'm going to be using it somewhere. This is everything that I got. Oh wait, I'm missing one thing that I got, you guys. <laughs> so this was my target find. Um, it just says, live your dream, show compassion, create your own happiness, follow your heart, enjoy the little things, laugh out loud, be your best self, cherish every moment, dream big, embrace every possibility, discover your passion, believe in miracles, create peace, Make a wish, be spontaneous, remember to breathe, fall in love, today is the day. That is everything I got for this time around. This is my home decor haul. I'm so excited. It looks so blue and pretty. I'm really so excited and I'm trying to be excited about it. I feel like, um, I don't know, when you're waiting for something for so long, we've been We've seen all of our other friends move along and get new houses and things and that can really like, it can really steal your joy um, and your contentment and your happiness where you are right now. And so I don't want that. I want to enjoy the home that we're currently in while we're waiting for the home that is to come. So this is part of the process and I'm trying to have a lot of fun with it um, and refuse to be discontent so this is part of my process i know that on youtube there's a ton of hauls and people are constantly buying and getting in i was trying to figure out how i fit in there and um, i do want to buy things for my home intentionally um, i don't want to be overwhelmed or feel like i need to have everything i just want to move with some intention and peace and happiness and joy and gratefulness so we'll see how it goes my next step is to put something in these frames so i'm gonna try to find photos that i want to include um, in these frames that's gonna be a whole task because if you only knew how many pictures i took <laughs>